Hello, Minecraft. Um, so this is my revised station. Um, should be 1.6 compatible when the patch comes out. I um, just want to go over a few of the new features and give you a brief introduction for those that haven't seen the previous one. So this station is designed as the hub to our town um, with a multi multi destination selector. Uh, generally, the operator selects their destination, hops in the cart, and hits the button, and off they go. The um, problem with the original design was it used a, uh, glitch cart boosters, and this one should be 1.6 compatible, although we're still 1.5, so not 100% sure. Um, let me just uh, send this cart off and give you an idea of what it actually does. So, cart travels along here. If it's empty, it just gets continuously boosted to make sure the empty cart makes it all the way. And hops down this little track to a Pez dispenser. Um, if the person is on it, then this piece of track switches which is triggered by this uh, detector V configuration. If you put a detector switch in this configuration, it only ever trips with a person in the cart. So it's quite useful for switching and doing detectors. This is the reset for the destination, so let me pick a destination here. You see the cart is now configured to send off to Tyler's house. Um, but say, for example, you're coming fresh from the spawn point because you died. Uh, you would come in here and, whoops, track set, you would go right back out. Well, we don't want that to happen. So every outgoing cart here always resets the destination. That way, any players arriving always come in to the arrival deck right here. So let me just show you what happens if you hop in the cart without selecting a destination. Go along, very short trip, right back where you started from. So let's, uh, oops, break that cart and drop it off back in our hopper. So, the inner workings. Previously I had a very long ramp up to about here, middle of the air, and the cart would just drop straight down, flush against another um, block here, so that a boosted cart could come from underneath up, catch alongside it, and send it off on its way. Now I'm doing everything with proper powered rails. And you can see here, this is all powered to the Pez dispenser. So this is a new style Pez dispenser that you need to use if you want to use them. And what it does is it uses a very, very fast um, switch. So the, the input signal comes down here, gets routed, through this torch around to turn it on, and then this um, relay will very quickly pulse it off after about two or three clicks. And what ends up happening is a cart gets caught halfway through the door. So you click the button, cart drops, and it gets caught halfway through the door, and one cart gets sent off. So, yeah, that's uh, the new method. It works quite well. So, come back up here. Just clean off this cart that I sent. And, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's the new station design. Oh, there's one other little peculiarity. Is I had to uh, come up with a better method of timing rather than using a bunch of um, bunch of repeaters to do the timing for the uh, output 
what I decided to do is um, the signal comes I use red uh, wool to indicate signal blocks. The signal comes from that uh, detector above, comes through to a latch, gets latched here, which sets the output, turning off that torch. And then once the cart passes over the reset, which is right above here, it goes through a four pulse delay and then resets the latch. And the signal also splits to go down to very long delay to do the reset of the entire logic, which is just done as the, I'm still doing it as the old style, um, thin, uh, latch selectors. So yeah, that's my, uh, revised 1.6, hopefully 1.6 compatible station. And, uh, thanks for watching.